Since this technology makes it possible for patients to be diagnosed and treated in one visit, it could have a significant impact on patients' financial bottom line. A very big factor for a lot of patients, if you give them the ability to return to work sooner, that can be a major help to them financially, you know, economically, to the medical system in general. So the quicker that you can apply a treatment and the more accurately you can do that, that pays other dividends and other benefits, work return, prompter work return being one of those. So I think that is an area where we'll see ultrasound expanding is really based on the financial pressures that are being placed on the healthcare system. I believe we'll see ultrasound being used more and more because of its sort of uh, and less expensive way of getting some of the same information. I think that the technology offers um, the doctors a much quicker um, way to diagnose the, the issue. You know, it's immediate. They have the ability to diagnose on the spot where an MRI you're going, uh, and it's also, also costly, you know, and you don't get the results back for a day or two with an MRI, and that kind of prolongs your ability to go into surgery and something like a, a rupture on your tendon um, you know you want to know immediately and they were able to that day um, schedule surgery for me in the hospital and so it, it quickened the procedure and I think that you know it's a, it's a great technology. X-ray is really kind of a first-line treatment especially in the orthopedic community people come in they get x-rays I'm of the opinion that ultrasound should be a first-line treatment also if you have a muscle or tendon injury you should probably have ultrasound to look at it first, prior to doing an MRI or a CT scan. Um, it's uh, more cost effective for, for the patient and for the healthcare community as a whole. It's a cheaper technology, but you don't lose quality, even though it's cheaper. I'm doing well. How Ultrasounds are a fraction of the cost of an MRI, and it's more than that, in my opinion. Uh, most of my patients are working patients. To take a day off to come and see me in the office is a big deal, and if I can not only do in a clinical assessment, but actually do the imaging to diagnose and finally treat their, their problem. I've saved them days and days of work. They don't have to spend a half day getting an MRI or another day coming and waiting in my waiting room before they see me to get their final treatment. So I save them time off of work and use a test that is much less expensive than a traditional MRI and, and many times can save a tremendous amount of financial dollars to the stress of the healthcare economy.